Hello again, this is Robert V. Chair, and this is my video review of a tripod by a company called Geek Hotel. This is their 77 inch tripod. That's the highest uh, height it will go. This can be used for DSLR, binoculars holding, telescope holding, mobile phones, camcorders. Uh, it's uh, very versatile. Has a 360 degree ball head and uh, has gives you panorama rotation and it'll hold over eight kilograms or 17 pounds that's a lot of weight um, the range will go from 19 up to the 77 it has a lower ball joint which allows quick angle adjustments we're going to show all these things and includes this really nice quality carrying bag probably one of the nicest carrying bags i've seen on a tripod and i reviewed a lot you could tell quality because it has a very wide strap and adjustments on here. The legs will adjust for varying terrain uh, quite easily with their uh, mounting system on the legs and it can be transformed to a great monopod which is unique. Most tripods don't do that and the whole thing only weighs 3.7 pounds or 1.53 kilograms. And it will also allow inverted shooting to get great low angle shots. Now let's open the holder up. And then here is the tripod. And this piece right here, which is probably part of the monopod. I'm going to put this aside. Very nice quality. And I notice it's also padded. I've never seen that before. This has a thick padding in there and a very oversized zipper for reliability and very strong straps. So I'm impressed with that already. I see an instruction booklet and some information about the company. And it has this nice fabric material right here on the bottom. And let's see what's that, why that's there. Let's take this off. And what that looks like is that was protecting the whole ball and head mechanism. Very nice, and you could use this to hold this piece and your instructions if you like. I also see a strap right here, so let's let's just keep this folded for a minute here and let's look at the unit itself. So you can see how compact this is. This is where they're getting that 17 inches from. Let's take a look at the top of the tripod. And first thing you'll notice is there is this really nice rubberized strap that allows you to move it, slide it up and down if you need to, and it moves 360 degrees. This is another way to hold on to this. Now all these locks are very simple. When you go clockwise with respect to the top of it, tripod, it locks it in place and counterclockwise loosens it just like that. Now looking at this top of the tripod, there's a little calibration symbol right there. And if you look closely, there is numbers on here and those represent degrees. So zero degrees is right there. And that way you could rotate this a specific amount of degrees. One, two, three, four, five. So that way you go five plus and minus five degrees, just like that. And this knob right here is the tension knob and that will lock this in place so it doesn't rotate counterclockwise opens it up to move and it's a it's a smooth movement like there is fluid in there and then if you rotate this you can see this large knob right here that large knob controls the tension and locking of the top oversized ball joint so you can quickly establish any angle you need and you just rotate that to the right and then it locks it in place very simple, very functional. Then on the top of the tripod, you have this knob right here, and that knob will allow the release of the top plate. And you can see it has four little rubberized pieces for friction, and on the bottom, it has a little arm that you lift up, and then you could rotate that to tighten it to your camera. Very simple, very effective. There is a relatively heavy Canon DSLR camera and we're going to use the top shoe and put it into the 1 quarter 20 which is a industry standard and then we're just going to rotate that clockwise 
and lock that in place and then turn this little handle down just like that then we're going to be able to mount it on the tripod. So here I wanted to show you the uniqueness of the mechanism. So here I have everything closed and you just open this up. You can hold that like that and you can totally rotate this 90 degrees. You can hear the ratchet clicking in place. Just like that. And then you lock it in the angle you want and then you're ready to use the tripod. So here I have a DSLR camera, the one I just showed. And you can see it's on the tripod now. And you can quickly adjust the angle right here and lock it in any angle, leave it at an unusual angle. And then here you have your tension for the rotation. So look how smooth I can rotate that even at an unusual angle, just like that. So let's take a look at a close up of the bottom of the tripod. You can see it has this nice rubber, it has a taper on there, so it'll grab into sand and dirt and grass, and it's high friction, and it had these really nice quality locks on there. And they're oversized, so they're easy to lock on, and they lock on really nicely. Of course, there's three of them on here. That's gonna, what's gonna allow you to get to that height of 77 inches. Very nice quality, very easy to lock. And then on one of the legs, it has this nice rubberized piece on here. And that's so that if you wanna hold it from here, you can hold it and not have any fatigue on your hand. On the bottom of the center of the tripod, there is a spring-loaded stainless steel hook. And what you could do is you could add weight to the tripod to get a little bit more stability by adding weight to the base of the tripod. And that's really nice quality and that's a handy feature to have. Now moving up on the tripod, you can see that it has these anodized aluminum pieces and these large notches right there. Now, when you push this down, it releases this and allows the angle of this to change. And you can see that it clicks. It has various locking positions that allow you to lock it in place. This also allows a complete 180 degrees rotation, which we're gonna show. And notice that it has these really oversized stainless steel pieces on there. And I know it's stainless steel because this is a calibrated magnet I use. So there's anodized aluminum, no attraction, and even stainless steel on the supporting bolts. So this will not rust. Now I also included this nice hex wrench. And you'll notice that it fits the stainless steel screws if you ever have to tighten them. You probably never have to, they're all locked in place. But if you had to, the tool is included. Now if you notice, one of these legs, the one that has the cushion on there, has detachable monopod. And all you do is turn this counterclockwise and remove this leg and you're going to create a monopod by using this, by using this center section that we removed. And now you have the ability to make a monopod. And this piece was included and this nut will work in either direction. This is stainless steel also. So you just put it in the top section, just like that. And it kind of countersinks itself. Then take that third leg, the one that's labeled for the monopod, and just rotate that clockwise. And it, that bolt and nut will just disappear, as you can see right in there. Make sure it's locked. And now you have a very nice, and now you have a very sturdy monopod. And here's a view of that sturdy monopod that we just essentially created. Very effective. I can set this on the ground and have minimal foot space taken up and I have a nice monopod for shooting very quick scenes without worried about having the full tripod. So if you want to lighten up your load and you want to have a quick way to get some stability, the monopod is the way to go. 
I also want to point out that on the top of the tripod there is by the ball joint there is an opening on one side and that allows you to put this to an extreme angle like that and even lock it in place. Now I also want to show that there is a nice bubble level on there so that you could have this thing level quite rapidly. And also look at the nice quality once again that retaining screw is non-magnetized so that's stainless steel. If you want to shoot something inverted you unscrew this right here and this mechanism comes right out and then you could use this to release this and slide this totally out and then you put this upside down into the tripod just like that and then what you have is the tripod inverted so that you could have your camera on here upside down for really low really neat some shots with your camera that's unique to this tripod so here you can see an example of how I have the tripod center section turned upside down and now I have the camera really low for some really cool low angle shots so what's my overall opinion about the Geekoto 77 inch tripod I think you're going to love this tripod the quality of this holding bag the quality of the tripod all the extra features that I described on the head mechanism, the ability to shoot upside down low shots, the locking mechanism, the ball joint, the uh, ability to make a monopod out of this, these locking uh, rotatable sections. This is a great tripod. The fact that it could hold that much weight, 17 pounds, or eight kilograms is pretty amazing. So I love this tripod. It's gonna be my go-to tripod from now on. I'm gonna give this a full five-star rating on my channel. Please remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you're alerted to new video uploads. And if you like this review, please hit the like button. I hope the information I presented helps you with your buying decisions. Thank you for watching.